In this video, I'm going to spend a day shiny hunting in multiple Pokemon games. There's no other rules apart from go out into as many Pokemon games as I feel like is necessary and shiny hunt. And let me tell you, this video takes a drastic turn. But hey, subscribe if you haven't already and let's just jump into it. So if you watched my Let's Go Shiny Hunting video where I beat the game using only shiny Pokemon, you will know that Viridian Forest is the absolute best place to shiny hunt in that game, in my opinion. So what other Pokemon to go for than the Golden Worm Caterpie? After getting my 31 catch combo, the Golden Worm appeared only like 5 minutes after I finished it, so first shiny already down. But I got a little greedy because I already had a catch combo for Caterpie and since I got the shiny, I can just stand Viridian Forest and another shiny will pop up, right? Yeah, one did! I was actually hoping for a shiny Bulbasaur, but instead shiny Butterfree comes in to say hi, so you know what, I'm happy with this, a fully evolved shiny Pokemon, that's sick. And then since I was playing Let's Go Pikachu, Sanctuary is an exclusive in this version, and Sanctuary and Sandslash are some of my favorite shiny Pokemon of all time. The mint green and the crimson red is just perfection. However, I waited for like an hour and I didn't find anything. So instead, I decided to go back to like the route above Viridian and just kind of reset it to see if like a Dragonite or Charizard would spawn. And um, well, I'll just show you. That's right, we got a shiny Dragonite merely like minutes after giving up on the Sanctuary Hunt. This is one of the coolest shinies in the game, and it's maybe one of the most common because you can see it on like so many routes. Also, this shiny's underrated. Fight me. Three really cool shinies in like an hour and a half. I will take it. On to the next game. So my Pokemon Violet game decided to have a Totodile outbreak. And I thought to myself, how cool would it be to get a couple shiny starters in this? So I guess we're doing this one. Slap on a sparkling water sandwich and it's time to hunt. Maybe after 20 minutes of waiting, I found the shiny. And with water on my mind, I decided to shiny hunt one of the most common Pokemon when you slap a dragon encounter sandwich on in the coastal terrarium, Alolan Exeggutor. With a dragon encounter sandwich, this Pokemon spawns relentlessly and would surely be a really easy and quick shiny hunt right? Unfortunately, this hunt turned out to be a little bit tougher than I expected. Executor spawns so much that you'd think the shiny would pop up in about like maybe five minutes, but I'm pretty sure I had to use about two shiny sandwiches before I even found it. Which, that's okay, we get unlucky from time to time, but it doesn't infuriate me as much as the next hunt. Oh yeah, in the meantime, I went back to Pokemon Legends Arceus and I got a shiny Shellos and decided to shiny hunt a little bit more. Didn't find anything. So this video has taken a lot longer to make than an actual needed to be. I probably had some of the most unlucky moments of shiny hunting I have ever had in my lifetime of shiny hunting in Pokemon, especially the hunt for shiny Litten. I went through maybe like three shiny sandwiches and then I gave up for a couple days. On top of doing things like a property management course, which I want to become a real estate agent eventually in the future, videos have to sometimes be a side thing, but I don't like that. So when shiny hunting Litten and another Pokemon down the road, and it takes forever, it wastes so much time I could be spending on the things that are really necessary to do in my life. I came back two days later for the hunt for shiny Litten, and luckily I found it in just five minutes. My luck is just so weird. So taking a break was really necessary as I got shiny Litten, Finally! And since I still had my fire encounter sandwich on, I decided to go for another fire starter in Charmander. Which I did not realize how frustrating it was to look at normal Charmander in the savannah biome. It's barely distinguishable. It looks like my luck returned because we actually managed to get shiny Charmander in just 10 minutes of hunting. Two shinies in just 15 minutes? I will definitely take it. But then one of the coolest shiny hunts I've ever pursued happened. There was a scissor outbreak on my map and instead of going for that I decided to see like if there were any other still type Pokemon spawning in the canyon biome and turns out if you put a still encounter sandwich down it's just Sizzle spawning. Like I'm not kidding it's actually just Sizzle. So I was looking forward to this one. Sizzle actually decided to be nice to me and we managed to get the shiny with maybe like five minutes to spare on the sandwich. My luck is going really good right now. What happened earlier? It then occurred to me that I feel like most people who played the DLC of Scarlet and Violet probably have a shiny flag on. I decided to go for trap Trapinch. Trapinch showed up almost instantly, so there's no sugarcoating here. I got four shinies in maybe the span of an hour. So it occurred to me that there's an area in Kitakami that spawns prominently ground-type Pokemon like Sanjuru, Geodude, Graveler. But there is a static Jangmoo spawn, at least I think it's static. So I didn't know if that was the only Jangmoo there, so I decided to put down a Dragon Encounter Sandwich and, well, 
this happened. Oh my god, there are so many baby dragons! And in just four minutes, I found the mustard baby dragon, Jangmoo. And so I decided to switch games to Pokemon Let's Go because there's one Pokemon I ironically really want, even though it's shiny, is terrible. Farfetch'd. Now hear me out, Surfetch'd is my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. A Sword and Shield duck is badass. And for some reason, that love for Surfetch'd has really made me appreciate Farfetch'd. And the shiny just looks like a raw Farfetch'd if you decided to eat it one day. It took me an hour, a whole hour, to catch combo Farfetch'd. And then this is the shiny hunt that broke me. I deeply apologize for not getting this video out when I wanted to. I just had the worst luck. So then I went back to Pokemon Violet to avenge myself to get some really cool and great shiny Pokemon and make a fantastic video. And that's exactly what I did. Let's, Let's kick, kick it, it into, into shiny, shiny overdrive. overdrive. Let's go, shiny Tepig. Oh yeah, that looks great. <laughs> that's a shiny Slugma. That's a shiny Slugma. Wait, is that Excadrill shiny? Oh wait, it's shiny. It's so much brighter than I thought. Wait a minute, there's no way that Duraludon on shiny. It is! Oh my god! We got four shiny Pokemon very quickly. So now it's time to go back to the best Pokemon game of all time, in my opinion. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's see if this game can redeem itself. How many shinies are we gonna get? Oh, let's go! Shiny Tangler! Your Wahi look like green spaghetti, though. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is that shiny Eevee? No way! That was back-to-back -back outbreaks. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, where'd you come from? Holy sh... Is that a shiny Graveler? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. I'll take it. Whatever. It looks like poop. Dude, that's a shiny Staravia. Oh my god. It actually looks like no different to the other ones. Is that another Staravia? Dude. Hold up. Hold up. Is that a shiny Petalil? I don't even have that in this game. That's a new shiny. All right, get in here. You look like no different to normal Petalil, but you know what? I will take it because you are a new shiny. Legends Arceus was the very first game I played on this channel, and that video accumulated 16 thousand views so i just wanted to take the moment to actually thank you guys for the incredible and instrumental amount of support you guys have showed me i'm doing my best to get these videos out and editing them to the best of my abilities so please bear with me if i take a while but with that said we got a lot of shiny pokemon and there is still more to come turns out legends arceus does love me after all Oh my god, yes, shiny Growlithe, that's a new shiny. I literally have a shiny Alpha Hisuian Arcanine, but not Growlithe. I am gonna take it 100%, baby, let's go! Yo, that's shiny Swinub, let's go! Okay, wait, 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 that's a shiny Cascoon, wait, what? Whoa, no way! Wait, wait, where was that? Wait, where was it? Where was it? Wait, is it... <gasps> it's Rhyhorn! I've wanted this shiny for so long! Every time I play this game, I never get a shiny Rhyhorn. I haven't got it yet. We finally got it. Let's go! And that is all the shiny Pokemon I got in a day of playing.